Hi, it's Jeff at MacroMonster.com. Somebody in the CorelDRAW forums had a question about how to change the color of this t-shirt and they wanted to kind of use it as a template for other colors. So one thing you could do here is if we zoom in on it, I'm just going to pick my wand tool. My tolerance is set to 10 here at the moment. I'm just going to start uh, clicking on some areas, but I'm going to hold down the shift key so you see the plus symbol by the wand there. And we're going to go into the corners a little bit. Make sure we get all those shadows like that. And it looks like we just about got everything. I'm just going to go in here and click select some of those shadows as well. And if we invert the mask, which is Control shift i now we should be have the green area selected fairly well. I'm going to go ahead and uh, press Control up arrow and what that does is it creates a new layer from the area that it's selected. As you can see, I can move this around now. Um, that's going to be the area that we'll fill later, but for now we're going to um, hide that and we're going to go back to the main layer here. And I work, we're, what we're looking for is we're going to desaturate this layer and we're going to brighten this up so that we can basically keep the, um, you know, the, the, some of the folds and things like that to make it, give it the texture of a shirt later, regardless of color. So there's different ways to do that. I'm just going to try the tone curve method by bringing it up like this. And uh, maybe try a little brightness contour, brightness contrast and intensity. Let's see if something like that might work. All right, so now if we go to our, our layer that has the color on it, uh, what we can do is this particular person had a question how he wanted to use the uh, some of the RGB values that he already is aware of. Make sure that you click the far left uh, color in the back here. Just have to be careful with your mouse to get it, but you'll see there's a little border around the area there for the back fill color. There we go. See, I was able to get it with my mouse there, so now it's got that border around it. So what happens here, if you already know the colors, the color setting that you, you want, such as, I don't know, some kind of fairly bright pink, uh, or maybe even a red, full color red like that. If you press the F key, you can now uh, click inside here on the top layer and now it's a very bright red like that. You may want to feather that mask a little bit by the way. Let me just see here. Uh, you can see over here it's not quite perfect. I'm going to fill that in if we can. In the object docker here, if you choose to uh, multiply, you can see how it keeps the folds of the uh, sh shirt underneath there. We can see that this um, color or, or the background texture might be a little bit too dark, so we can brighten that up a little bit if we want using various methods. See how it looks. It really depends how much of the original shading you want from the shirt. Something like that perhaps. If you want to go ahead and do a little bit of masking, uh, feathering you can on this other shirt color layer. It's just a uh, simple go to the mask option, mask outline. Oops, we have to create our mask first. Mask, outline, feather, inside, I don't know, a couple of pixels. I'm going to hit Control Shift I and then Control Shift X to cut away some of the other uh, pixels there. All right, so anyway, if we wanted to change the color yet again to some kind of a yellow or come to a green color, press the F key, and it changes it to that. And at each stage here, you just press Control E to, to bring up your export dialog. It might warn you that it's going to flatten everything to a background color, but that's fine. Anyway, this is one way to do it. Hopefully it's uh, something you'll find useful in some capacity. Thanks.